Hey everyone, Odie here, and we have an exciting game today where we'll be playing on the PBE, and we're up against a Katarina mid. Fair warning, PBE games are a little volatile, they are not similar to the current ranked I play in. Patch 14.5 is coming out next week, so this is a great opportunity to test the new adjustments coming to Seraphine. And in this video, we'll be playing the Manaphine 2.0 build, or the Manaphine build. We'll be using the exact same runes and builds as we are using in live, so we'll have the best one-to-one -one comparison, and I'll give my honest thoughts about how I feel of the PBE changes. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing it is the best way to support my content. Thank you so much and please enjoy the video. In a Katarina lane, we're going to make sure we're always doing our best at level 2 first and just harass her whenever she gets close. We're going to keep harassing her abilities and just do our best at level 2. Remember, we have 5 less AD, so it's a little bit harder to last hit. And we're on the PB, so we have a bit of lag. I'm used to 40 ping. It is at 83, so it's a little bit higher than I'm used to. Again, she walks up. You always want to harass her. And again, this is a lower seal matchup because this is a different rank, because PB players are not necessarily the same rank that you are on my main. I am a master player. This could be a gold or lower player. So, harass him, get a kill. If an enemy dies, you want to always shovel in. Seraphine's damage early feels pretty much the same. Just a little bit harder to last hit. Do your best to last hit with autos, and look to reset. If you don't have enough money for Lost Chapter, buy a tier. Go back to lane, walk it in. Use double Qs and autos, you know, do your best to farm. Again, whenever Katarina walks in, just auto her and harass her. She's not allowed to walk for, and get to farm for free. We're going to outscale. Just do your best to just poke from a distance. Keep your range. Again, it's harder to last it on the PB, especially before Lost Chapter. That Kamini would have died if it was on live. However, we don't have to execute on Qs anymore. Keep autoing the minions. Gank here. I blame having ping issues. Missing my abilities. Just felt very slow. But it's okay. Ignore this. Don't chase. Just get your farm. We can't catch up anyway. Keep farming. It's all about farm on Seraphine. Shove mid. Next wave, we know Katarina resets. So do Q, E, then Q, Q. This is our wave clear combo if we don't have any abilities up. Auto tower. Getting a plate. And aiming to get a lost chapter ASAP. Play the ward down, reset, TP back to mid. Now we can wait for a bit better because we have an amp tome. QQ, we do some decent damage. Seraphine pretty much lost the passive of this update. Her autos on minions, whatever enhanced autos, just like do no damage. Holding R, and just walking it in. E, double W, walk, and just keep walking. Enemy shows up, I do R. And I actually miss an ability here. If I hit this E, we get a kill. Unfortunately, I missed it. Get a ward, shove mid. It's all about just punishing the enemies when they're not in lane. Seraphine wants to farm. This is how you beat these assassins who keep roaming. Poke them from a range, auto shove, force them to stay at tower or roam and waste more minions. Reset for lost chapter, buy boots, go to lane, and now the last thing will be much easier. Seraphine's weakest before lost chapter this current patch. So, all you gotta do is get your lost chapter and you should clear it just like before. You pretty much get every minion, and the only minions you miss are because of the Q execute difference. Just remember, we're gonna have to be more focused when farming because we're gonna miss more minions over execute damage if our AP is not high enough. This will fix the longer the game goes on as long as you go to the Manaphine build. Keep shoving, getting some money, can't roam everywhere, so just stay in the mid lane. We're gonna get our farm, get our tower damage, don't force anything. We have no reason to force. Just get our farm, harass the enemy, and chunk them. Look how much damage we do to this Katarina. We're bullying the bully. Punisher for keep roaming. We see Rengar show up, so we just back off instantly. We do not want to get ganked, and that ward we put down helped us out here. Rengar wastes his ult, collect our farm, continue bullying this Katarina. She is so low, she cannot all in us. Some abilities, E, Q, Q. Look at the wave clear. It's still very good, even after these changes. We missed pretty much no minions at all. And it's very consistent with just a lost chapter. I want to show a bug that happened here. R, E, Q, Q did not fire double Q. You'll notice if you use your Q too fast now, it'll not use your double Q. So make sure you really time it. This is a bug, and this has happened only since the PBE changes. It's happened beforehand, but it was much harder to mess up. Now, it feels much more common. Recalling. Briar does Briar things. Get our Malignance Rush. And with Malignance, it is extremely cost efficient. And let's our kill common to be much stronger early. Look at this damage we did with just EQQ. We're maxing E second now with the new update. We have longer CC range, and we have more damage that deals. 
So we're going to go an EE and a Q max this game. So Q and E. Kill columns are a little bit better because we're maxing E seconds. We do more damage because our AP ratio from our R has moved to our E. I think Rengar's in this bush. I use my abilities, but he's not there. Prep my kill combo. And I have flash ready. R, flash. And I miss. Just harass the other teammates. The ghost from the Darius really scared me. He's doing some crit Darius builds. EQQ, get Vagar. One for one, not the best, but we'll take it. Shove mid. We're working our Seraphs next. By the time our tier is fully stacked, Seraphs will be ready to buy. Briar gets killed. Just stay mid. We're just looking around, messing around the enemy. EQQ does huge damage. We just go back to mid. We're just only looking to farm. Our wave clear is much better now. I'll also note, I can do an R, E, Q, Q, huge damage combo. Turn these fights. Shove our waves, take tower, shove another wave, look to reset. This is like the kind of the goal we want to go for. Shove, reset, get our farm. Work for our Seraphs, and they're all good. I go Sork Shoes now because we're going more AP focused builds. A little extra ability haste does not make a huge difference. I've noticed the extra magic pen from the boots is a little bit better, especially when we're focusing on more EQQ combos now. Taking Rift Herald, shove an error lave. You always want to shove before doing anything. Get Seraphs fully upgraded. Working on our next item, which is going to be Death Cap. I get it engaged on. I do R, E, but I'm rooted forever, and I unfortunately cannot get out of this situation. Teammates clean up. And despite getting killed, we almost got a triple kill for our team. Stay in the back line. E. And just stay behind everybody. Always the back, never the front. Stay in the back. Watch how my positioning is. I'm in the front here, I'm not scared. And then I go instantly, I'm going to back off. Set up a combo. R. E. Q. Q. This Vagar gets deleted. With only two items, we one-shot enemies. Who said something about Seraphine not being able to one-shot? Run it in. Shove to tower. We're getting very strong. Gonna go to reset. Work on our death cap. EQQ. Every time we have a chance of getting a wave, we're always gonna get the wave. Wave clear is all that's important on Seraphine. Darius shows up. E E Q flash R auto. I believe if, if this was during live server, I would not have killed Darius there. We do definitely more damage with this build. Is it better than last season, Seraphine? I'm not sure. But definitely it feels stronger than last patch. Stand back. We just chunk. It's all about huge damage Seraphine builds. Stay in the back line. Prep kill combo. Just stay in the back. Our shields aren't as huge as they used to be, but they still feel very strong with a lot of AP. Remember, shield skill and AP anyway. Go for dragon. Mordekaiser leaves us. And well, I back off. I don't think this is warded, but I blame my ping here. Just being patient, have kill combo ready. I R. And I miss. I blame my ping. I know it's only 80, but I feel like I would have hit that on live. They miss me. Just stay in the mid. Stay in the back line. And watch how I be annoying here. Look how I'm in the back. Just throwing abilities. Have ult ready. Double W still has huge shields. Stay in the back. Play behind your Mordekaiser. He's our front line. I R. Unneeded. Shove wave. It's all about just shoving and staying in the back line and getting our golds. We're only fed because we keep shoving waves and we just get kills that are given to us. That's all you gotta do. Watch how I'm just in the back line being annoying, zoning the Ramus. Let's our Mordecai get the kill. Briar goes crazy. EE -E does a ton of damage. Never used to do that much. Maxing E second does insane damage. Mordecai runs away. And I was over greedy and I died for my reasons. Should not have been there. It was my fault. Get Death Cap. And watch this amazing play. Hit the Briar mid-air. E. Q. Q. Deleted. I have never seen that play on Briar before. I didn't know you could hit her mid-air when she's running. Unintentional. And it's one of the coolest moments I've ever seen in League. E. E. Deleted. Tons of damage this build does. Take Baron. Vengar is up, so we just gotta zone and make sure we don't one-shot Baron until we know where he is. He's below us. Stay in the back. Just poke. 
keep Baron interested and just zone so Rengar can't just jump in. We don't want him to steal. Just taking up space so he can't just get a clean jump onto the Baron. Still waiting. We see him and then kill him before he goes to Baron. Then we got our Baron. We can reset. We get Alternator and Aether Wisp. Going for a Dragon. Kill combo ready. EQQ. Decent damage to Ramus. It's in the back. Watch my position here. I'm going to go behind the Soraka in the bush. Ramus thinks I'm here. Stay in the back. Look for a good angle. And fire it off. R E Q Q. 100% delete a Katarina. 100 to 0. I do a flash here because I'm trying to catch someone. Was not needed. Get our Scuttle Crab. And again, stay in the back. Look at this. Look how much damage I did to Darius with double E. Disgusting. This build feels very, very strong still, even after the changes. Seraphine's weaker in shields, but this build want to do damage instead of shields anyway. So while we still have strong shields, we're prioritizing double Qs and poke damage. Little picks of double E and double Q is great. Patiently waiting with my ults and just sitting in the back line. This build feels so good. Tons of damage of kill combo. Tons of nice out of kill combo damage. It's a wonderful to try this out. So I definitely suggest it. In conclusion, I find that this build is still perfectly fine. Mana Fiend 2.0 got buffed in a way, and I think this is going to be still a very strong build in the upcoming patch. I would say anyone who's going hybrid builds or more supportive play styles on AP Carry to be a bit more wary and to learn to adapt the play style to be more pure AP focused or pure enchanter focused, I would keep an eye out what other creators are doing and kind of copy what they do. I want to thank my members for supporting me. Thank you so much for supporting my content and trusting me as a creator. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It is the best way to make you a better Seraphine player. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.